Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Horizon Zero Dawn. Last episode, we went and actually managed to complete Cauldron Z. It was a bit of a fight. I mean, killing the guards around it was easy, because they were just humans. And then we managed to override the cauldron, more humans came in to come after us, and then a bunch of uh, machines also came in and, and joined in the fight. So, uh, yeah, that was fun. Now that that's been handled, it's time for us to get out of here. And I think I found the way out. This should get us out of here to I don't know where, but somewhere. It definitely does feel like a way out. It's not the way we came in, but it is a way out. Oh no. Stalkers. No! Great. You know, it was easy. Now the machines are awake and we have to deal with stalkers. Oh no. I see you! There. Okay, you're dead. Those are annoying. I have no idea if there's going to be any more. They're leaving. Where are they now? I find that a very good thing. This thing. Oh, that just sent. That must be the cauldron itself that's making the machines. Hell, it even looks like it has some kind of face up there. And there. I admit, that's a little bit creepy. Okay. There's nothing up here. Alright, I think this is our way out. Found an exit. Climb the pillar to escape. Oh no. Climb the pillar to escape. Okay, I gotta get all the way to the other side again. And I think there's more stalkers here. I didn't 
realize you were still guards. Let's do this. Okay, fuck it. I don't want to fight these things if I can avoid it. Let the other guys fight them. Yeah, I don't care. You guys can fight them. I'll just get out of this place. Don't mind me. Ow, ow, ow. There we go. Here's where I climb. Go away, stalkers. I don't want to deal with you. See? Yeah, I don't want to deal with any of you guys, so... Ow! You're just a scrapper. I don't want to deal with you. Go away. You guys can have fun with this. I'm leaving. Well... I guess I'll get one kill in. Oh, hi there, you! Converge. Go ahead, guys. Fight him. I, I don't care. I'm leaving this place in chaos. This'll help. We have a problem. Yeah, you do have a problem. You know, your friends could have used a little help. I mean, I'm leaving this place. You don't realize what the hell is going on in there. It's a lot of crazy shit, and I don't think any of your friends want to deal with it. But, go ahead. Cauldron Z has been... The overrides are now available. What does that give us? Behemoths, Fire Bellowbacks, Stalkers, Glinthawks, and Freeze Bellowbacks. There are a lot of machines out here. Oh! You know what? Yeah, I'll take this. Bye, guys! You have fun! <laughs> You have fun with that. I'll let you guys fight. Bye! Oh, that was an exciting escape, wouldn't you agree? Oh. Okay. Well. With that task accomplished, um... Let's see. We still have a few things down here that we can try and clear out, so let's head to the west, make our way towards this vantage. There's a... There's a campfire on the way, and there's a town near it. There might be something interesting in that little village. Oh wait, we have something in inventory. A Ravager Heart! Nice. Oh, skills! Yes! Um... Hmm... Concentration leading to fast reload? I don't use that very much. Quiet sprint? Might be useful in the future. Hoarder might actually be useful. Double shot and triple shot? I don't know about that. Combat override permanent. I haven't done much in the way of overriding. Let's get Hoarder. Yeah, that works. Alright, we can now carry more stuff. Are you 
be stuck. <laughs> Alright. Campfire discovered. Now. Why do I have the feeling those are Ravagers? That terrifies me a little bit. Let's get to the, uh, the, the village that I happen to see in note of. Stalkers. Ooh. Rabbit bone. I think I need a, one or two of those. I'm wasting the good arrows. Tough, but I'm... Is that something? Ooh! Weapons satchel. Okay, sure, fine. And we can do the weapon satchel floor. There we go. Okay, so I still need a fox skin. I need a fox skin, a rat bone, and a fox skin. I need three fox skins and a rat bone. Great. More foxes need to die. Why? Okay, the vantage is going to be over here. Probably on top of that ledge. It looks like I have to get there from around. This must be Sunstone Rock. It's being attacked by machines. That doesn't sound good. I don't like our chances. A behemoth! That doesn't look good. Behemoth. Oh boy. Oof. Hard outer casing. Okay. Strong against shock. Crate holders. It has a cargo container. Fantastic. Uh, freeze canister in the back. Force loader. Disables the lifting attacks. And a power cell. Alright. This thing is big and scary. Holy crap. Oh shit, shit, shit! Powers. Ow! It's also incredibly strong. Ow! This may have been a poor choice coming out here. Ow! And I didn't get the attack on time. Holy shit! I thought this would be a nice, friendly place where I could get some re some resupply and everything. I didn't expect that. This is gonna be a scary fight. It is a scary fight. So it's resistant against shock. Good to know. Okay, now we gotta run over there again. And I lost the upgrade I got. Didn't I? <sighs> Red Lightning's trouble. Where did you come from? I don't want to deal with you. Go away. Alright. 
being attacked by machines. Yes, it is, and it's big like and scary. Chance. You want to tell Warden Geneva we back down? Hey, uh, will this ice work? Hey, look at that, it's frozen. Ah, oh, jeez. It has taken a lot of damage. Okay, that time worked. We killed a behemoth. That was big and scary. Is there still a fight going on in there? Sounds like there might still be a fight going on. Something big and scary is going on here. I don't know what. There's another one! Alright, let me help. There, that should help. There we go. Alright. Huh. That was some scary stuff. Are we able to get in, I wonder? Oh, there's a quest here. But I can't seem to get in that through the door. You pulled us out of a tough spot, Outlander. Welcome to Sunstone Rock. You should speak to Warden Geneva inside. Thank you. Can I get in? Not through the main door, apparently. Got a hole over here. Oh, here we are. This is the way in. It was a machine lure. We don't know how they got it. Rosgrun can feel the parts on his person, no doubt. We searched him. How? You don't want to know how. Hello. Warden Geneva. This is the one who defeated the behemoths. Outlander. I'm impressed. I don't impress easily. Well, I had some help. Tell me, how do you fare with hunting living prey? Uh... Haven't had any complaints. Why? Three dangerous prisoners have escaped. I need my men here, getting the others back in line. None of this would have happened if we dealt with criminals the old way. But, I've clashed that gong before, and here I am. And here you are. Uh, the old way? What's the old way? To be buried up to the neck and left for the sun's judgment. Seems to me like the judgment's already been made. Not one of them committed another crime. Dangerous prisoners? Who are these dangerous prisoners? Three from the isolation cages. Don't feel sorry for them. They've lived well off the Sun King's conscience. First is Rosgrund. Osram trap maker. Hates the Karja. Crazy as a loon in heat. Caught in one too many blasts. Or one too few. Then there's Ulia. A Tanakh warrior. If that means anything to you. Not really. Not really. Another tribe? Reavers. From the I south. Swear. Bloodthirsty. 
Some say they're cannibals, but she slurped gruel well enough. And the last is Gavon, a traitor who smuggled weapons to the exiles. Compared to the other two, this one doesn't seem so bad. He helped drag out a civil war, all for the shards it got him. A machine has more warmth. Do you know Nil? Do you know a hunter named Nil? He told me about this place. Nil? That's what he calls himself now. Huh. Is he well? I maybe wouldn't say well. He was born under a long and dark shadow, but he wasn't a knife without a thought behind it. Like the butchers of the Sunring. He had honor. Old-fashioned. His time here... boiled it to the surface. Uh, Sunstone Rock. So the Karja keep Excuse their me? criminals in this place? Since the liberation. We've had them all, from thieves to the Mad King Jaron's former Kestrels. The Sun King believes in the power of change. And sure enough, some did change. Shed their skin, like lizards. I thought all criminals were the same once. That's why the Sun King gave me command of Sunstone Rock. As an education. Sounds quite the honor. Sounds like an honor. I mean, I haven't seen any other women in Karja armor. No. I'm not one of your sisters. No woman can wear Karja armor. When I was young, I chose to become a soldier. One good enough to join Avad's honor guard. There was talk about what I was. So I'd say, test me, and I'll break your arm. After enough arms had been broken, there was less talk. I'm curious, Kay. but I'd rather we didn't have to start fighting. Agreed. I'll find your fugitives. So you want these prisoners brought back? No. I want them put in the earth. I doubt they'll give you any choice. They had their chance with the Sun King's generosity. So now they face mine. A bounty on all their heads. Ulia of the Tanakh, Razgrund of the Osram, and the traitor Gavon. If I did this for you, I'd need a lead on them. Well, when Ulia first swept through the Sundom, it was with the jungle bandits. I say she'll go back. Razgrund we pulled out of a crack in Dusk Mesa, where he'd been tinkering with his bombs. Bombs, And great. Gavon will be trying to pay his way across the lake. I'd burn my palm on it. Look in Bright Market. Okay. Well, that's Sunstone Rock. And we've got more quests for it. Huzzah! Merchant, do you have anything for me? No, really, I don't think. I can do a Shadow Blast sling for explosives, but I don't think I need them right now. I do have things that I can sell. A few things I can sell. Keep that. Interesting that rusted scrap is used for trading. I'll go with that. Uh, I have a lot of these. Good things too. Forty percent damage. Ooh, there are some good things that I can get here. Okay, we've got the new side quest for Sunstone Rock, and we've got the new Behemoth here. <laughs> Scary. Nothing more for carrying capacity. Uh, modify weapons. Got a 30% damage. Swap it for a 40. Jeez. 28 fire coil. And I don't got anything more for that. The trip caster. And put in a better. Couldn't put in a fire coil. Damage coil is 14. Replace that with 30. Electric 30 for 
No, not that one. That one. 26, placed with 41. Actually, I take it back. Replaced with the 26. You are going to take the 41, because it also adds sh freeze damage. Which means that becomes very nice indeed. And you... Yeah, you don't have anything. Okay. As for outfits, all I have is this. I don't think you've really got anything that'll help out much. Okay. With that, I think I'm gonna need to end this episode here. Next episode... Well, am I able to get up to, uh... No, it seems like that's the only way I could go. Or maybe... I bet from here I can get... Maybe? No. I'll, I'll need to figure out a way to get up to, uh, that. But I'll figure that out in the next episode, because this one's gone on about long enough. Let me just go run to, uh, that point where I can go and save. There's a campfire just to the north, and that seems like a good spot to go save. Anyway, all that will be in the next episode. So, until then, I'm Chester44, also known as Falai. This, that is Aloy. This has been a Let's Play of Horizon Zero Dawn. And I shall see you all next time.